All right, the Rams showed up. Let's go get them in the car. Nope. We just just put them in the car. No. What do we got? Cut these down. Yeah. Make them fit. Yeah. Make them custom. Yeah. Hey, why can't we just buy them? <laughs> All right, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we do a lot of Volkswagen stuff, a lot of fabrication, a lot of welding, stuff like that. Today, it's gonna to be on hydraulics and we're going yep. to tear into these because these are off the shelf and it's not what we use in the Demon Motorsports suspension system. Nailed it. It's hard to say. <laughs> this one is actually going in a thing or a bug. Yep, it's a thing. It's the same thing. Same thing. <laughs> so let's just get this over to the vise and tear it apart. Tear it apart. See what's inside. Yeah. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> so what do we got to do to get this thing apart? First thing we do, well, I do, is I just screw a bolt into the end of the cylinder. A lot of times these pistons get stuck down in the bottom where they weld it because it shrinks it up a little bit. When we make our plug, we'll make it so it press fits in here so it actually will heat this up and then put the plug in there that way we don't have to deal with that part so these ones here these are they're welded but they're threaded in there as well right exactly so they're super strong i don't even see that whichever camera here but yeah but this has got to come out because we got to short it it's got to be shorter and plus our uh fitting won't be on the end like this it's going to be off the right, side right. so yep. just stick it in the vise stick the bolt in the vise you don't want to grab that i mean we're cutting that part off too anyway so i guess we could but eh. sticking the bolt in there tap it with a brass hammer here once you get started, it pretty much starts going on its own. Have somebody help you with this part so you don't drop it. Yeah, you don't want to drop this thing. Yeah. And it's, that's uh, it. It's, it thing up. <laughs> it's basically, it's a piston. Yep, it's like a piston so in a car. If you drop this and, you know. You'll ruin your O-rings. You don't want to get dirt or nothing on this. Even a little this bit of dirt will mess this kind of stuff up, so. Right. Keep it clean, don't get any dings in it. That piston there is aluminum. And this is just a piece of tubing, basically. So it's it's not like it's something complicated, like you have to, you know, have that board out like a, even a cylinder. This is just a piece of tubing, DLM. Yeah. I've messed with steering rams and stuff for the off-road industry, and mm -hmm. uh, it's basically the same same stuff. Yeah. It's they're so they're really so simple. It's really I know. cool the way it's it really works. Cool. <laughs> That's just DOM tubing. It's just a piece of tubing. Yeah, it's threaded on the end, but yeah. Let's cut it up. Let's cut it. <laughs> we'll cut it down and we'll make a plug and make it happen. All right, we got the cylinders slash rams apart. <laughs> and you may be wondering, why don't just buy something that, you know, goes in there and really there's nothing that's this size that's out there. Yeah, it's all exact and there's a left right. and a right. We make them fit our system. These come from Black Magic and they, they do a great job. Um, and it used to be that you were just doing like one or two here and there. But now with the channel growing and the other social media growing, we're getting a bunch of them to do. So we're probably going to be able to make a deal where we get a bunch of them done and not have to do this part of it. Exactly. It's fun. I like doing it. Oh, yeah. But we could be making the rest of the parts. Yeah. So. <laughs> so yes. next is all the mathy stuff. And I don't like that. So you can do that. I'm going to... What we got to do next, we're just gonna cut it down, cut it in half, and I got measurements and everything written down for all this, so I'll mark that where I need it. I usually just put a little uh, magic marker, use your Sharpie, and so you're not scribing with your calipers, because you're not supposed to do that. So we'll just take the, take the marker, and we barely have to touch it to do that and it leaves us a nice, perfect line. So we're gonna take that over to the horizontal bandsaw, cut the end off, then we're gonna make the butt plate for the back and bevel it and do all the stuff in the lathe so we can put it back together. Okay, back at the lathe. If you didn't catch our lathe video, Rob will put a link up here, there. So um, what we gotta do is we're gonna just face the ends off after we cut it. I cut them a little bit long and these are threaded on the end for the cap and it doesn't fit inside my chuck. So what I do is I put the collar back on and just screw it into it so that I don't clamp the three jaw chuck against the threads and booger up any of those threads, especially if it were to spin or something and I'd make a mess out of them. Then we could fix it, but so stick it in there. I got the tool in there. We're gonna turn it on and just face off the end. 
got a little wobble to it because of the way that's put together, but for what this is, it's perfectly fine. We also got to put a bevel on it, which will be a, the next step, but get both of these done first. Okay, we're gonna deburr the, the insides after we turn them down, because you got a little burr in here, and when we make our butt plates to go in, they're gonna be like a press fit, so we're gonna heat it up and drop it in. And if you press fit it in, you don't want it like pulling in that, that edge, because then you'll have like metal shavings inside your cylinder, not good. So, using that deburring tool we talked about in our other videos, Rob will put a link to these in the description below there, so click on that and follow our Amazon links. Just give it a nice turn. This thing's worked really good. No more burr. That fast. Perfect. So the outside here, we're gonna just sand a bevel into that and I'll machine the bevel in the butt plate when we make that. But being that wobbled a little bit, I don't wanna chuck that in the lathe and try to hit it while it's wobbling. That's no good and I don't want to mess up the thread. So it's easier just to sand that one. All right, so you got it all measured out. You gotta yep. make your plate. Yep. Is that a plate really? It's gonna be a butt plate, they call it. Put it on the end of the cylinder. It's kind of a plug. Yeah, plug the end. It keeps the oil from leaking out of here, see? Yeah, well. You want to avoid that? Yeah. yeah, we'll call it a plate. Let's just call it a plate. Yeah, that sounds better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to the lathe. Back to the lathe. Okay, we got our piece of steel in the lathe. We're gonna just face this side off first, and then we're gonna bring in, and, and uh, it's a quarter inch in, that's how far it sticks in the end of the cylinder. The, and uh, so what we're gonna do, we wanna make that fit real tight anyway. So what I'll do first though is I'll face off the end so it's flat, and then we'll come in a little bit more than quarter of an inch, and then at the end, we can come back and face the back end off again until it's quarter inch, to the, the space that's in there. I find that easier than trying to bring it in and just make a quarter inch when you come in. It's just, that's difficult to do. So we're gonna let it rip. the ends faced off so what we'll do now is we'll measure we want a quarter inch so we'll just go a little bit more than that not too much more because you have to come back and face that whole end off until it's right so set the caliper put that mark on like we did over there to cut the cylinders set our calipers at we'll set it at a quarter inch we're just going to go a little bit past the line give that a little mark on there see it okay then what we'll do is I just end up lining that mark up with the tool to begin with. Just give it a little mark, like spin it over, come in. And that's how far we're going in. We can use the auto feed on this. Okay, got our 
this part turned down to the dimension we need. Now, being that the, my blade was on an angle, I'm gonna bring it back in and then just come out, sweep it straight out, and that'll make this a perfect 90 degree bend right there. Okay, now we gotta go back and check this dimension here. From here to this flange, we want a quarter inch. So like I said, we faced it off just to make it flat, but see what it is now, it'll probably be a little bit heavy, which is fine. Yeah, it's 285 instead of 250. So now we just go back and face this surface off until it's back to 250. And that's gonna dictate the stroke of the cylinder, so we need to make sure that's pretty much spot on. Next thing we got to do is turn the OD of this down to the same size as the cylinder, which is one in five eighths. And we need to figure out how deep that's going to be. All right, another three. Put our line on there just to get an idea. We'll go past this one because we're going to cut it off anyways. <clears throat> Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is just cut a little groove in here for the oil. We have to drill a hole in the cylinder as well for where their fitting is gonna go. So, um, got it clamped up in the mill here with the 316th end mill. The noise you hear is the three-phase converter. This is a three-phase motor on this and uh, we don't have three-phase in the building. So, well, what I did is I set it up, I bottomed it out right here on top and we're gonna go like 300 down. So. I zeroed out the mill, run it off the edge, and we'll come up like a hundred at a time, which is a hundred thousandths. That's a hundred. Turn it on, put your glasses on. This isn't that accurate, it's just for fluid to go through, so nothing has to be really precise. looks about even with the outside. So, 3 sixteenths in. Go another 100. Broke it. <laughs> We can still go because that was double sided. I just gotta flip it over. Our end plate is ready. The next thing we're gonna do is drill a hole. Basically, when we press that in, gonna line up that's gonna allow the oil to go through real well the fitting on the outside here so got both of these marked we're gonna take them back to the mill and drill a hole in those bad boys we got our part all made and it looks perfect 
holes drilled and I sanded a bevel on here and we machined that bevel on here. So when it goes together, we got a nice place to weld. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this up at the end of the tube so that this can drop in. And we made this slightly oversized and like uh, Rob does this a lot over there on motorcycles and dirt bikes and whatnot. And when he uh, drop and races down and bearings down into the, the cases, you just heat it up and it swells the part. As long as this part ain't higher, you can put this part in the freezer even to make it easier and heat it up enough, it'll just drop right in like the hole's big enough. And then once it cools off, it's gonna tighten up around there and you're good to go. So fire up the torch. The trick here is to heat it up just enough, or at least plenty enough, so the part drops in, because if it doesn't drop all the way in, the heat starts transferring to your part and it'll just lock up on you, and then you have to press it in. about got it just starting to turn a little red and remember to line our slot up with the hole fell right in now we don't touch that until it cools and all we have to do is weld it good to go weld the fitting on there cut the, the rod and that cylinder's done okay fixing to weld this up I'll have Rob put a link to our welding videos right here if you want to learn how to TIG weld. It's the greatest. Once you learn it, you're never going to want to go weld with anything else. I'm going to let this one rip. Put a couple of tacks on there so it doesn't pull and then it's off. I'm glad you're taking notes mm -hmm. for the next one. All right, so this ram's almost done. I actually learned it a little bit today because I don't know much about these. Um, it's You can see right here how this thing works. This is where the fluid's gonna go in. There's gonna be a fitting that goes there. It'll push the, the fluid this way. Then when the, you know, the, the, the weight of the vehicle will push it back up in there. The single all, action cylinders. Right, mm -hmm. single action cylinder. And all there is on this end is just a, a, a bushing that kind of holds it in place. Mm -hmm. And uh, this holds that on there. And you'll see this completely put together because this is going on a project that we're doing that we're going to show the complete install of the Demon Motorsports hydraulic system suspension. It's awesome. So, and, <laughs> and also I'd like to say, let's just call this the end cap. End cap. Can we call it the end cap? Probably a little more appropriate. I like that better. <laughs> so we'll do that. We'll rename that. Okay. And also what I want you to do right now is there's going to be a video right here. It's going to be the hydraulic system on the bus, which is super cool. And it's a really cool video. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out.